Hello friends, this is Shreya Swaraya and welcome to my YouTube channel. And now I will discuss the IUPJS Part One 2022 Chemistry Solution. So let's start. So the first question in the of chemistry is basically the ninth question in the PDF provided in the description. Coal is a common fossil fuel. It contains 0.2 to 5 percent sulfur, which on burning produces a gas responsible for acid rain. So basically, see, sulfur on burning will give sulfuric uh, uh, sulfur dioxide, which is SO2, and SO2 will produce acid rain. Right. So acid rain is um, produced by SO2, and SO2 has three atoms in one molecule. So the answer will be three into Na. Na is Avogadro's number. So three into six point zero two into ten to the power twenty three, which is one point eight one into ten to the power twenty four, which is option C. So option C is the correct answer. Next question. So basically, uh, Alex, I just explained the question to you. So the so this is the tenth question, and basically it's about neutralization reaction. So here KCl and NaCl are not to be worried. We just have to neutralize HCl with Aluminium hydroxide, right? So what is the uh, so we can do this with equivalent concept. So what is the n factor for HCl? It is one. What is the molarity? Molarity of HCl is given is zero point zero one molar, and the volume is two liters, right? And this is the equivalent of HCl. This can be equated to the equivalent of aluminium hydroxide. What is the n factor of aluminium hydroxide? It is three. So it is three OH minus ion, right? And uh, what is the um, and the uh, moles will be the mass divided by the molar mass. So that will be the mass divided by molar mass, and molar mass is given as seventy eight gram per mole, right? So solving this gives mass is equals to zero point five two grams directly. So you you have option A as the correct answer. So next next question. A zero point five gram mixture of calcium carbonate and calcium oxide. So basically, the initial mass is given as zero point five gram, right? And then when you heat calcium carbonate, you get calcium oxide and CO two. So CaCO three on heating gives CaO and CO two, which is a non combustible gas. Now suppose the mass of CaO is X, right? So let's just assume that mass of CaCO3 is x, suppose, right? Then this will be 5x, 56x by 100, and this will be 44x by 100, and we are concerned about this. Then the mass of CaCO, CaO, that in the initial mixture will be 0.5 gram minus x. Here x we are taking gram plus 56x by 100, which is from the reaction. This will be the total mixture. This zero point four three four gram, right? Because in the total mixture, we will only have CaO in the final mixture, right? So if you solve this, then you will directly get x is equals to zero point three five zero three five gram three five zero or three five gram, and this, if you divide it, so zero point three five gram divided by the total mass of the initial mixture, that is zero point five gram, into hundred percent. Gives us seventy percent, which is option A. So option A will be the correct answer. The next question is that you have to arrange carbon, oxygen, lithium, beryllium, and sodium in increasing metallic order. So we can do this easily. So what what we need to do is we need to we need to know the trends. The the the, the good part is that we don't have to uh, remember any exceptions, right? So the exceptions. Uh, so we just have to follow the trend. The trend says that um, if you go uh, along a period, then the metallic character will decrease, and if you go down a period, the metallic character will increase. So uh, since lithium, see lithium is like this: lithium, beryllium, and then carbon and oxygen. So the metallic order will be uh, like this because. If you go from right to left, the metallic character will increase, right? So if you and and since sodium is here, if you go down the period, the down the group, the metallic character will increase. So it will go like this. So this will be the order. So the answer will be option A. Next question is um. So here basically in the in the in the question number thirteen, so you are adding water to acetic acid. So um. Uh, Essentially, you are in, 
there will be some common ion effect but after that essentially you are increasing the number of ions because water will also dissociate into s plus and oh minus so that means that the current will increase and if the current will increase then the intensity of the bulb will also increase so that means that the option c will be correct so uh, c will be the correct answer 14th question the next question is um so i i'll, I'll write the reaction so first of all we have x when reacted with naoh gives us a a pungent gas which turns red litmus blue blue since it turns red litmus blue it is a basic gas and since it's pungent you can uh, you can conclude that it is nh3 right this means that x has nh4 positive as a cation right as one of as, as a cation and um, uh, and this uh, also gives us um, y now y when treated with uh, y when treated with uh, agno3 gives us uh, actually x when treated with agno3 gives us y and then we get um, and this on exposing to sunlight gives us chlorine why chlorine because it is a yellow pale pale greenish yellowish gas right so this means that chlorine cl minus ion is present in y which means that cl minus ion is present in x and clearly since y is a white ppt you can say that y is agcl and therefore x since it is an nh cl minus an nh4 plus um it will be NH4Cl. So X is NH4Cl. Now an aqueous solution of X will be uh, slightly acidic because NH4Cl is an acidic salt and, and it's because it is made up of NH4OH and HCl because neutralization. Right. So it will be slightly acidic. So option B will be correct. Okay. Next question. Equal masses of two gases among N2, NO, O2, CO, CO2 and SO2 occupy same volume at STP. So basically, see. The molar mass, see, since, since they are occupying same volume and STP, the moles will be same. And since the mass of the two gases is also same, that means that the mo mo molecular or molar mass will be same. So the molecular mass of N2 is 28, NO is 30, O2 is 32, CO is uh, 28, CO2 is 44 and SO2 is 64. So clearly it will be N2 and CO. Because N2 is 28 and CO is 28 and it is same. So the answer will be N2 and CO that is D. So now we can move on to the next question. So the next question is basically about the Van't Hoff factor. So the Van't Hoff factor basically they are explained as osmotic pressure or osmotic pressure that is denoted by pi is equals to I into C into R into T where I is the Van't Hoff factor. C is the concentration, R is the ideal gas constant and T is the actual temperature. Now this is same, this is same and this is same for all the three salts. This means that we have to see I. When see the salt of sodium will be Na2SO4, magnesium will be MgSO4 and aluminium will be aluminium Al2SO4 pulverized. When these two decompose, this, this will give 2 Na plus and SO4 2 minus. That is, it is given 3 ions, right? 2 Na and 1 SO4. So the I will be 3. Similarly, here it will be Mg2 plus and SO4 2 minus, right? So the I will be 2. And here it will be 2 Al3 plus plus 3 SO4 2 minus. Right, so the I will be 5 because there are 5 ions, 2 plus 3. Now, since Al2SO4 will rise as the highest I and then this and then this. So basically this was P, this was Q and so was R. So clearly we can say that the osmotic pressure of Q is less than that of P and is less than that of R. So Q less than P less than R. So that will be the correct answer is option B. Next question. So next one is the multiple correct question. So there are multiple there can be multiple correct answers, multiple answers that are correct for the next question. So the next question is the type of bonding find it found in dry ice. Now dry ice is solid uh, carbon dioxide, right? 
and uh, carbon dioxide is formed by covalent bonds right so covalent bond that is o equal to the o double bond c double bond o right so these are covalent bonds and other than that since it's dry ice it's a solid solids have high van der waal forces so it, it, that is also a type of bonding and that is why it will have a and d that is covalent bonds and van der waal forces both are present in dry ice so a and d will be the correct answer okay next question the compounds that raise the temperature of water on dissolving in it are so this is a pretty straight forward question the answer will be potassium hydroxide and uh, concrete cl because they will decompose uh, it, it is a chemical reaction so that is why heat will be evolved and it will increase the temperature right and one more thing is that ammonium chloride decreases the temperature it's an endothermic reaction so you won't take ammonium chloride so it will be b and d that is K KOS and Kong HCl. Okay, next question is about um, it's basically about uh, hardness, hardness of water. Right. So CaCl2 causes hardness of water, we know that. And soaps and detergents, soaps and detergents may say detergents can uh, you can wash with detergents in uh, hard water, but you cannot use soaps with hard water as they will give scum, which is the slimy precipitate, right? And the, you know, uh, NaCl does not does not uh, make the water hard. Only CaCl2 give, makes the water hard. That is why X1, since it's since X1 is with is done with soap and the CaCl2, that is the only B will be correct for this question, which is X1, and uh, all others will be incorrect. So uh, so that so we uh, end the chemistry solutions here. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, you can like, subscribe and share this video with your friends so that even they can be helped. Uh, thank you for watching.